And now I, Nephi, proceed to give an account upon these plates of my proceedings and my reign and ministry. Wherefore, to proceed with mine account, I must speak somewhat of the things of my father and also of my brethren. For behold, it came to pass, after my father had made an end of speaking the words of his dream, and also of exhorting them to all diligence, he spake unto them concerning the Jews, that after they should be destroyed, even that great city Jerusalem, and many be carried away captive into Babylon, according to the own due time of the Lord, they should return again, yea, even should be brought back out of captivity. And after that they should be brought back out of captivity, they should possess again their land of inheritance. Yea, even six hundred years from the time that my father left Jerusalem, a prophet would the Lord God raise up among the Jews, even a Messiah, or in other words, a Savior of the world. And he also spake concerning the prophets, how great a number had testified of these things concerning this Messiah of whom he had spoken, or this Redeemer of the world. Wherefore all mankind were in a lost and in a fallen state, and ever would be, save they should rely on this Redeemer. And he spake also concerning a prophet who should come before the Messiah to prepare the way of the Lord. Yea, even he should go forth and cry in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, and make his path straight. For there standeth one among you whom ye know not, and he is mightier than I, whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose. And much spake my father concerning this thing. And my father said he should baptize in Bethabara beyond Jordan, and he also said he should baptize with water, even that he should baptize the Messiah with water. And after he had baptized the Messiah with water, he should behold and bear record that he had baptized the Lamb of God, who should take away the sins of the world. And it came to pass, after my father had spoken these words, he spake unto my brethren concerning the gospel which should be preached among the Jews, and also concerning the dwindling of the Jews in unbelief. And after they had slain the Messiah who should come, and after he had been slain, he should rise from the dead and should make himself manifest by the Holy Ghost unto the Gentiles. Yea, even my father spake much concerning the Gentiles, and also concerning the house of Israel, that they should be compared like unto an olive tree whose branches should be broken off and should be scattered upon all the face of the earth. Wherefore he said it must needs be that we should be led with one accord into the land of promise, unto the fulfilling of the word of the Lord, that we should be scattered upon all the face of the earth. And after the house of Israel should be scattered, they should be gathered together again, or in fine, after the Gentiles had received the fullness of the gospel, the natural branches of the olive tree, or the remnants of the house of Israel, should be grafted in, or come to the knowledge of the true Messiah, their Lord and their Redeemer. And after this manner of language did my father prophesy and speak unto my brethren, and also many more things which I do not write in this book, for I have written as many of them as were expedient for me in mine other book. And all these things of which I have spoken were done as my father dwelt in a tent in the valley of Lemuel. And it came to pass after I, Nephi, having heard all the words of my father concerning the things which he saw in a vision, and also the things which he spake by the power of the Holy Ghost, which power he received by faith on the Son of God, and the Son of God was the Messiah who should come. I, Nephi, was desirous also that I might see and hear and know of these things by the power of the Holy Ghost, which is the gift of God unto all those who diligently seek Him, as well in times of old as in the time that He should manifest Himself unto the children of men, for He is the same yesterday, and today, and forever. And the way is prepared for all men from the foundation of the world, if it so be that they repent and come unto Him. For he that diligently seeketh shall find, and the mysteries of God shall be unfolded to them by the power of the Holy Ghost, as well in this time as in times of old, and as well in times of old as in times to come. Wherefore the course of the Lord is one eternal round. Therefore remember, O man, for all thy doings thou shalt be brought into judgment. Wherefore, if ye have sought to do wickedly in the days of your probation, then ye are found unclean before the judgment seat of God, and no unclean thing can dwell with God. Wherefore, ye must be cast off forever. And the Holy Ghost giveth authority that I should speak these things and deny them not. For it came to pass, after I had desired to know the things that my father had seen, 
and believing that the Lord was able to make them known unto me. As I sat pondering in mine heart, I was caught away in the Spirit of the Lord, yea, into an exceeding high mountain, a mountain which I never had before seen, and upon which I never had before sat my foot. And the Spirit said unto me, Behold, what desirest thou? And I said, I desire to behold the things which my father saw. And the Spirit said unto me, Believest thou that thy father saw the tree of which he hath spoken? And I said, Yea, thou knowest that I believe all the words of my father. And when I had spoken these words, the Spirit cried with a loud voice, saying, Hosanna to the Lord, the Most High God, for he is God over all the earth, yea, even above all. And blessed art thou, Nephi, because thou believest in the Son of the Most High God, wherefore thou shalt behold the things which thou hast desired. And behold, this thing shall be given unto thee for a sign, that after thou hast beheld the tree which bare the fruit of which thy father tasted, thou shalt also behold a man descending out of heaven, and him shall ye witness. And after ye shall have witnessed him, ye shall bear record that it is the Son of God. And it came to pass that the Spirit said unto me, Look. And I looked and beheld a tree, and it was like unto the tree which my father had seen. And the beauty thereof was far beyond, yea, exceeding of all beauty, and the whiteness thereof did exceed the whiteness of the driven snow. And it came to pass, after I had seen the tree, I said unto the Spirit, I behold, thou hast shown unto me the tree which is most precious above all. And he said unto me, What desireth thou? And I said unto him, To know the interpretation thereof, for I spake unto him as a man speaketh, for I beheld that he was in the form of a man. Yet nevertheless I knew that it was the Spirit of the Lord, and he spake unto me as a man speaketh with another. And it came to pass that he said unto me, Look. And I looked as if to look upon him, and I saw him not, for he had gone from before my presence. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the great city Jerusalem, and also other cities. And I beheld the city of Nazareth, and in the city of Nazareth I beheld a virgin, and she was exceeding fair and white. And it came to pass that I saw the heavens open, and an angel came down and stood before me. And he said unto me, Nephi, what beholdest thou? And I said unto him, a virgin most beautiful and fair above all other virgins. And he said unto me, Knowest thou the condescension of God? And I said unto him, I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. And he said unto me, Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. And it came to pass that I beheld that she was carried away in the Spirit. And after she had been carried away in the spirit for the space of a time, the angel spake unto me, saying, Look. And I looked and beheld the virgin again bearing a child in her arms. And the angel said unto me, Behold the Lamb of God, yea, even the Son of the Eternal Father. Knowest thou the meaning of the tree which thy father saw? And I answered him, saying, Yea, it is the love of God, which sheddeth itself abroad in the hearts of the children of men. Wherefore it is the most desirable above all things. And he spake unto me, saying, Yea, and the most joyous to the soul. And after he had said these words, he said unto me, Look. And I looked, and I beheld the Son of God a-going forth among the children of men. And I saw many fall down at his feet and worship him. And it came to pass that I beheld that the rod of iron which my father had seen was the word of God, which led to the fountain of living waters, or to the tree of life, which waters are a representation of the love of God. And I also beheld that the tree of life was a representation of the love of God. And the angel said unto me again, Look and behold the condescension of God. And I looked and beheld the Redeemer of the world, of whom my father had spoken. And I also beheld the prophet who should prepare the way before him. And the Lamb of God went forth and was baptized of him. And after he was baptized, I beheld the heavens open. And the Holy Ghost came down out of heaven and abode upon him in the form of a dove. And I beheld that he went forth ministering unto the people in power and great glory, and the multitudes were gathered together to hear him. And I beheld that they cast him out from among them. And I also beheld twelve others following him. And it came to pass that they were carried away in the Spirit from before my face, that I saw them not. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, saying, Look! 
And I looked, and I beheld the heavens open again, and I saw angels descending upon the children of men, and they did minister unto them. And he spake unto me again, saying, Look, and I looked, and I beheld the Lamb of God going forth among the children of men, and I beheld multitudes of people who were sick and who were afflicted with all manner of diseases, and with devils and unclean spirits. And the angel spake and showed all these things unto me. And they were healed by the power of the Lamb of God, and the devils and the unclean spirits were cast out. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me again, saying, Look, and I looked and beheld the Lamb of God, that he was taken by the people. Yea, the Son of the everlasting God was judged of the world, and I saw and bare record. And I, Nephi, saw that he was lifted up upon the cross and slain for the sins of the world. And after he was slain, I saw the multitudes of the earth, that they were gathered together to fight against the apostles of the Lamb. For thus were the twelve called by the angel of the Lord. And the multitude of the earth was gathered together. And I beheld that they were in a large and spacious building, like unto the building which my father saw. And the angel of the Lord spake unto me again, saying, Behold, the world and the wisdom thereof. Yea, behold, the house of Israel hath gathered together to fight against the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And it came to pass that I saw and bear record that the great and spacious building was the pride of the world, and the fall thereof was exceeding great. And the angel of the Lord spake unto me, saying, Thus shall be the destruction of all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people, that shall fight against the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And it came to pass that the angel said unto me, Look, and behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brethren. And I looked and beheld the land of promise, and I beheld multitudes of people, yea, even as it were in number as many as the sand of the sea. And it came to pass that I beheld multitudes gathered together to battle one against the other. And I beheld wars and rumors of wars and great slaughters with the sword among my people. And it came to pass that I beheld many generations pass away after the manner of wars and contentions in the land. And I beheld many cities, yea, even that I did not number them. And it came to pass that I saw a mist of darkness on the face of the land of promise. And I saw lightnings. And I heard thunderings and earthquakes and all manner of tumultuous noises. And I saw the earth and the rocks that they rent. And I saw mountains tumbling into pieces. And I saw the plains of the earth that they were broken up. And I saw many cities that they were sunk. And I saw many that they were burnt with fire. And I saw many that did tumble to the earth because of the quaking thereof. And it came to pass, after I saw these things, I saw the vapor of darkness that it passed from off the face of the earth. And behold, I saw the multitudes who had not fallen because of the great and terrible judgments of the Lord. And I saw the heavens open, and the Lamb of God descending out of heaven, and he came down, and he showed himself unto them. And I also saw and bear record that the Holy Ghost fell upon twelve others, and they were ordained of God and chosen. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold the twelve disciples of the Lamb, who were chosen to minister unto thy seed. And he said unto me, Thou rememberest the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Behold, they are they who shall judge the twelve tribes of Israel. Wherefore the twelve ministers of thy seed shall be judged of them, for ye are of the house of Israel. And these twelve ministers whom thou beholdest shall judge thy seed. And behold, they are righteous forever, for because of their faith in the Lamb of God, their garments are made white in his blood. And the angel said unto me, Look, and I looked and beheld three generations pass away in righteousness, and their garments were white, even like unto the Lamb of God. And the angel said unto me, These are made white in the blood of the Lamb because of their faith in him. And I, Nephi, also saw many of the fourth generation who passed away in righteousness. And it came to pass that I saw the multitudes of the earth gathered together. And the angel said unto me, Behold thy seed, and also the seed of thy brethren. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the people of my seed gathered together in multitudes against the seed of my brethren, and they were gathered together to battle. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold the fountain of filthy water which thy father saw, yea, even the river of which he spake, and the depths thereof are the depths of hell, and the mists of darkness are the temptations of the devil which blindeth the eyes and hardeneth the hearts of the children of men, and leadeth them away into broad roads, that they perish and are lost. 
and the large and spacious building which thy father saw is vain imaginations, and the pride of the children of men, and a great and a terrible gulf divideth them, yea, even the sword of the justice of the eternal God and Messiah, who is the Lamb of God, of whom the Holy Ghost beareth record from the beginning of the world until this time, and from this time henceforth and for ever. And while the angel spake these words, I beheld and saw that the seed of my brethren did contend against my seed, according to the word of the angel. And because of the pride of my seed and the temptations of the devil, I beheld that the seed of my brethren did overpower the people of my seed. And it came to pass that I beheld and saw the people of the seed of my brethren, that they had overcome my seed, and they went forth in multitudes upon the face of the land. And I saw them gathered together in multitudes, and I saw wars and rumors of wars among them, and in wars and rumors of wars I saw many generations pass away. And the angel said unto me, Behold, these shall dwindle in unbelief. And it came to pass that I beheld, after they had dwindled in unbelief, they became a dark and loathsome and a filthy people, full of idleness and all manner of abominations. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, saying, Look. And I looked and beheld many nations and kingdoms. And the angel said unto me, What beholdest thou? And I said, I behold many nations and kingdoms. And he said unto me, These are the nations and kingdoms of the Gentiles. And it came to pass that I saw among the nations of the Gentiles the formation of a great church. And the angel said unto me, Behold the formation of a church which is most abominable above all other churches, which slayeth the saints of God, yea, and tortureth them, and bindeth them down, and yoketh them with a yoke of iron, and bringeth them down into captivity. And it came to pass that I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw the devil that he was the foundation of it. And I also saw gold and silver and silks and scarlets and fine twined linen, and all manner of precious clothing. And I saw many harlots. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold the gold, and the silver, and the silks, and the scarlets, and the fine twined linen, and the precious clothing, and the harlots are the desires of this great and abominable church. And also for the praise of the world do they destroy the saints of God, and bring them down into captivity. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld many waters, and they divided the Gentiles from the seed of my brethren. And it came to pass that the angel said unto me, Behold, the wrath of God is upon the seed of thy brethren. And I looked and beheld a man among the Gentiles, who was separated from the seed of my brethren by the many waters. And I beheld the Spirit of God, that it came down and wrought upon the man. And he went forth upon the many waters, even unto the seed of my brethren who were in the promised land. And it came to pass that I beheld the Spirit of God, that it wrought upon other Gentiles, and they went forth out of captivity upon the many waters. And it came to pass that I beheld many multitudes of the Gentiles upon the land of promise, and I beheld the wrath of God, that it was upon the seed of my brethren, and they were scattered before the Gentiles and were smitten. And I beheld the Spirit of the Lord, that it was upon the Gentiles that they did prosper and obtain the land for their inheritance. And I beheld that they were white, and exceeding fair and beautiful, like unto my people before they were slain. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld that the Gentiles who had gone forth out of captivity did humble themselves before the Lord, and the power of the Lord was with them. And I beheld that their mother Gentiles were gathered together upon the waters, and upon the land also, to battle against them. And I beheld that the power of God was with them, and also that the wrath of God was upon all those that were gathered together against them to battle. And I, Nephi, beheld that the Gentiles that had gone out of captivity were delivered by the power of God out of the hands of all other nations. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld that they did prosper in the land. And I beheld a book, and it was carried forth among them. And the angel said unto me, Knowest thou the meaning of the book? And I said, I know not. And he said, Behold, it proceedeth out of the mouth of a Jew, and I, Nephi, beheld it. And he said unto me, The book that thou beholdest is a record of the Jews, which contains the covenants of the Lord which he hath made unto the house of Israel. 
and it also containeth many of the prophecies of the holy prophets, and it is a record like unto the engravings which are upon the plates of brass, save there are not so many. Nevertheless they contain the covenants of the Lord which he hath made unto the house of Israel, wherefore they are of great worth unto the Gentiles. And the angel of the Lord said unto me, Thou hast beheld that the book proceeded forth from the mouth of a Jew. And when it proceeded forth from the mouth of a Jew, it contained the fullness of the gospel of the Lamb, of whom the twelve apostles bear record, and they bear record according to the truth which is in the Lamb of God. Wherefore these things go forth from the Jews in purity unto the Gentiles, according to the truth which is in God. And after they go forth by the hand of the twelve apostles of the Lamb from the Jews unto the Gentiles, thou seest the formation of that great and abominable church, which is the most abominable of all other churches. For behold, they have taken away from the gospel of the Lamb many parts which are plain and most precious, and also many covenants of the Lord have they taken away. And all this have they done, that they might pervert the right ways of the Lord, that they might blind the eyes and harden the hearts of the children of men. Wherefore thou seest that after the book hath gone forth through the hands of the great and abominable church, that there are many plain and most precious things taken away from the book, which is the book of the Lamb of God. And after these plain and precious things were taken away, it goeth forth unto all the nations of the Gentiles. And after it goeth forth unto all the nations of the Gentiles, yea, even across the many waters which thou hast seen, with the Gentiles which have gone forth out of captivity, thou seest, because of the many plain and precious things which have been taken out of the book, which were plain unto the understanding of the children of men, according to the plainness which is in the Lamb of God, that because of these things which are taken away out of the gospel of the Lamb, an exceeding great many do stumble, yea, insomuch that Satan hath great power over them. Nevertheless thou beholdest that the Gentiles who have gone forth out of captivity, and have been lifted up by the power of God above all other nations upon the face of the land, which is choice above all other lands, which is the land the Lord God hath covenanted with thy father, that his seed should have for the land of their inheritance, will not utterly destroy the mixture of thy seed who are among thy brethren. Neither will he suffer that the Gentiles shall destroy the seed of thy brethren. Neither will the Lord God suffer that the Gentiles shall forever remain in that awful state of blindness, which thou beholdest they are in because of the plain and most precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb, which have been kept back by that abominable church, whose formation thou hast seen. Wherefore, saith the Lamb of God, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles, unto the visiting of the remnant of the house of Israel in great judgment. And it came to pass that the angel of the Lord spake unto me, saying, Behold, saith the Lamb of God, after I have visited the remnant of the house of Israel, and this remnant of whom I speak is the seed of thy father, wherefore after I have visited them in judgment and smitten them by the hand of the Gentiles, and after that the Gentiles do stumble exceedingly because of the most plain and precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb, which has been kept back by that abominable church, which is the mother of harlots, saith the Lamb, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles in that day, insomuch that I will bring forth unto them in mine own power much of my gospel, which shall be plain and precious, saith the Lamb. For behold, saith the Lamb, I will manifest myself unto thy seed, that they shall write many things which I shall minister unto them, which shall be plain and precious. And after thy seed shall be destroyed and dwindle in unbelief, and also the seed of thy brethren, behold, these things shall be hid up to come forth unto the Gentiles by the gift and power of the Lamb. And in them shall be written my gospel, saith the Lamb, and my rock, and my salvation. And blessed are they who shall seek to bring forth my Zion at that day, for they shall have the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. And if they endure unto the end, they shall be lifted up at the last day, and shall be saved in the everlasting kingdom of the Lamb. Yea, whoso shall publish peace, yea, tidings of great joy, how beautiful upon the mountains shall they be. And it came to pass that I beheld the remnant of the seed of my brethren, and also the book of the Lamb of God which had proceeded forth from the mouth of the Jew. 
that it came forth from the Gentiles unto the remnant of the seed of my brethren. And after it had come forth unto them, I beheld other books which came forth by the power of the Lamb from the Gentiles unto them, unto the convincing of the Gentiles and the remnant of the seed of my brethren, and also the Jews who were scattered upon all the face of the earth, that the records of the prophets and of the twelve apostles of the Lamb are true. And the angel spake unto me, saying, These last records which thou hast seen among the Gentiles shall establish the truth of the first, which are of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, and shall make known the plain and precious things which have been taken away from them, and shall make known to all kindreds, tongues, and people that the Lamb of God is the Son of the Eternal Father, and the Saviour of the world and that all men must come unto him, or they cannot be saved. And they must come according to the words which shall be established by the mouth of the Lamb. And the words of the Lamb shall be made known in the records of thy seed, as well as in the records of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Wherefore they both shall be established in one, for there is one God and one Shepherd over all the earth. And the time cometh that he shall manifest himself unto all nations, both unto the Jews and also unto the Gentiles. And after he has manifested himself unto the Jews and also unto the Gentiles, then he shall manifest himself unto the Gentiles and also unto the Jews, and the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. And it shall come to pass that if the Gentiles shall hearken unto the Lamb of God in that day, that he shall manifest himself unto them in word and also in power, in very deed, unto the taking away of their stumbling blocks, and harden not their hearts against the Lamb of God, they shall be numbered among the seed of thy father. Yea, they shall be numbered among the house of Israel, and they shall be a blessed people upon the promised land forever. They shall be no more brought down into captivity, and the house of Israel shall no more be confounded. And that great pit which hath been digged for them by that great and abominable church, which was founded by the devil and his children, that he might lead away the souls of men down to hell. Yea, that great pit which hath been digged for the destruction of men shall be filled by those who digged it, unto their utter destruction, saith the Lamb of God. Not the destruction of the soul, save it be the casting of it into that hell which hath no end. For behold, this is according to the captivity of the devil, and also according to the justice of God, upon all those who will work wickedness and abomination before him. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, Nephi, saying, Thou hast beheld that if the Gentiles repent, it shall be well with them, and thou also knowest concerning the covenants of the Lord unto the house of Israel. And thou also hast heard that whoso repenteth not must perish. Therefore woe be unto the Gentiles, if it so be that they harden their hearts against the Lamb of God. For the time cometh, saith the Lamb of God, that I will work a great and a marvellous work among the children of men, a work which shall be everlasting, either on the one hand or on the other, either to the convincing of them unto peace and life eternal, or unto the deliverance of them to the hardness of their hearts and the blindness of their minds, unto their being brought down into captivity, and also unto destruction, both temporally and spiritually, according to the captivity of the devil of which I have spoken. And it came to pass that when the angel had spoken these words, he said unto me, Remember thou the covenants of the Father unto the house of Israel. I said unto him, Yea. And it came to pass that he said unto me, Look and behold that great and abominable church, which is the mother of abominations, whose foundation is the devil. And he said unto me, Behold, there are saved two churches only. The one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is the church of the devil. Wherefore, whoso belongeth not to the church of the Lamb of God belongeth to that great church which is the mother of abominations, and she is the whore of all the earth. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the whore of all the earth, and she sat upon many waters, and she had dominion over all the earth among all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people. And it came to pass that I beheld the church of the Lamb of God, and its numbers were few because of the wickedness and abominations of the whore who sat upon many waters. Nevertheless I beheld that the church of the Lamb, who were the saints of God, were also upon all the face of the earth, and their dominions upon the face of the earth were small because of the wickedness of the great whore whom I saw. 
And it came to pass that I beheld that the great mother of abominations did gather together in multitudes upon the face of all the earth, among all the nations of the Gentiles, to fight against the Lamb of God. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld the power of the Lamb of God, that it descended upon the saints of the church of the Lamb, and upon the covenant people of the Lord, who were scattered upon all the face of the earth. And they were armed with righteousness, and with the power of God in great glory. And it came to pass that I beheld that the wrath of God was poured out upon that great and abominable church, insomuch that there were wars and rumors of wars among all the nations and kindreds of the earth. And as there began to be wars and rumors of wars among all the nations which belong to the mother of abominations, the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold, the wrath of God is upon the mother of harlots, and behold, thou seest all these things. And when the day cometh that the wrath of God is poured out upon the mother of harlots, which is the great and abominable church of all the earth, whose foundation is the devil, then at that day the work of the Father shall commence in preparing the way for the fulfilling of his covenants which he hath made to his people who are of the house of Israel. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, saying, Look. And I looked and beheld a man, and he was dressed in a white robe. And the angel said unto me, Behold, one of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Behold, he shall see and write the remainder of these things, yea, and also many things which have been. And he shall also write concerning the end of the world. Wherefore the things which he shall write are just and true. And behold, they are written in the book which thou beheld proceeding out of the mouth of the Jew. And at the time they proceeded out of the mouth of the Jew, or at the time the book proceeded out of the mouth of the Jew, the things which were written were plain and pure and most precious, and easy to the understanding of all men. And behold, the things which this apostle of the Lamb shall write are many things which thou hast seen, and behold, the remainder shalt thou see. But the things which thou shalt see hereafter thou shalt not write, for the Lord God hath ordained the apostle of the Lamb of God that he should write them. And also others who have been, to them hath he shown all things, and they have written them, and they are sealed up to come forth in their purity, according to the truth which is in the Lamb, in the own due time of the Lord, unto the house of Israel. And I, Nephi, heard and bear record that the name of the apostle of the Lamb was John, according to the word of the angel. And behold, I, Nephi, am forbidden that I should write the remainder of the things which I saw. Wherefore the things which I have written sufficeth me, and I have not written but a small part of the things which I saw. And I bear record that I saw the things which my father saw, and the angel of the Lord did make them known unto me. And now I make an end of speaking concerning the things which I saw while I was carried away in the Spirit. And if all the things which I saw are not written, the things which I have written are true. And thus it is. Amen.